30 minutes later, we got our first sale. What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're actually gonna be going over a brand new store that I started with a buddy of mine just for fun, but um, I was purely just testing cold Facebook traffic, so I wasn't running Instagram influencers, nothing. Just pure cold Facebook traffic. Launched an ad less than an hour later, I think it was actually 30 minutes later, we got our first sale. And I kinda wanna walk you guys through that, um, just cause like me personally, I get a lot of DMs from you guys on Instagram or just wherever saying like, hey, you know, I've been doing influencer shout outs, they haven't been working, or I've been running a lot of Facebook ads and I get a lot of traffic, but I'm not converting, I'm not getting sales. And I just wanna show you guys kind of what I did for this store um, and really just walk you guys through a screen share of just like kind of the store, the analytics, and then the ads manager on Facebook to kind of show you guys what I did and then how I split test so that you guys can kind of get an idea so that you guys can start doing that for your own Facebook ads and hopefully, you know, get, get some quick, quick results, right? So we're gonna hop on screen share right now. I'm, I'm tiny now. We're, we're on the screen. You see, you see the, the Shopify back end. And oh, shit, I think I just actually refreshed the page. Okay. Well, while we wait for that to load. Um, basically, guys, so I launched this store again. It's in the fashion um, accessories niche. This is just a uh, an app, actually. I don't know why it's lagging. Okay. Um, so this store is in the fashion accessories niche. As you guys can see, uh, it's it will at least currently recording right now. It's three. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wait for it to focus. Okay, so it's three. 20 in the morning um, right now 3 20 a.m. We've already had 280 visitors so as you guys can see I'm driving quite a bit of traffic um, Already now the, the problem is the size conversion rate is ass right now again um, This is like we just whipped up a store in in less than a day um, and launched it So I want to show you guys are actually what what kind of converted as you guys can see um, This is basically the the entire like last five days. We've been open Oh, you see on May 15th, 2018, we made an order for $9.99. Originally, our products were priced at $9.99, but then I told my buddy to increase products to $20 a pop. So we did that right after the first day. And as you guys can see, um, since then, we've been doing that. And then on May 19th, I changed the collections and some of the links um, just for better SEO because I want this, like I'm trying to scale this site to, you know, 100K a month. And I actually want to walk you guys through that. Um, but I changed the SEO and URLs and then I had to change the links um, to where, you know, where people would click through on Facebook. So the ads were in review that entire day and didn't go. And then the next day it's live. We made $100 then. And then today as of three in the morning, um, $0 so far, right? We've had 280 um, visitors already, okay? So kind of what I want to guys through that first is, so this was May 16th, right? So let's click that real quick. Um, oops, or May 15th, my bad. So we'll go there. Just to show you guys that like I, got a sale in literally less than the first hour. So you guys will see, so this is at seven in the morning, May 15th, 2018, 7 a.m., 9.99, okay? So now I'm gonna click here at the top, go to the ads manager, okay? Um, now I'll show you, this is just how I organize some of my stuff. But as you guys can see, this ad was launched May 15th at 6.30 in the morning. So literally in 30 minutes after this one went live, okay? Um, again, I was split testing a bunch of stuff, so it would actually be in one of these ads. I'll show you guys in a second. But after this one went live, okay? Um, we, we basically generated um, our, our first sale and then I, and I, I cut that because I um, Actually, I'll just walk you guys through that right now actually but essentially my kind of strategy if especially when doing pure cold Facebook because we didn't touch Instagram influencers personally I think Instagram influencers are slowly kind of dying off um, Just because it's very very easy for these pages selling shout outs to kind of manipulate their, their their results and then upcharge you for higher shout out rates where you don't break even or you don't make sales, okay? So with Facebook for this one, I just went pure cold Facebook traffic. And what I actually do, right, is like a lot of people will go immediately for like conversions or you know try, trying to get actual conversions for their ad campaign or the ad objective right off the bat. And that's not what I do and that's not what I recommend you do. So as you can see, the very first things I started with were view content, okay? So the entire objective for all my ads right now, except for one, because I'm slowly branching off, but um, all my objectives is view content ads. Okay, so what I mean is basically you just want someone to go to your website and look at the product, okay? L just just go to your website and look at it. That means they show interest, they show curiosity, they show some form of, you know, connection or interest into whatever you're selling, whatever product you're kind of trying to sell, right? So that's the objectives that I'm running for most of mine, okay? Now, as you can see, with this first ad set, all right, I was targeting the US ages 18 to 34 for view content. I was getting 24 cents a click for each view content. As you guys can see, it wasn't doing too hot. All right, so again, when I split test my ads, the first time I was split testing, guys, split testing I was split testing captions, okay? And again, for my placements, um, let's see if I can actually go in here. Okay, so on placements, guys, I didn't do automatic placements just because 
I know exactly what I'm personally trying to go for and I'm going for Instagram. So either Instagram sponsored posts or Instagram story ads. So as you can see, I unchecked every single thing and the only ones checked right on, on this one is just the feed. Okay. I had another one that's been tested because I was testing again caption, right? So the, the easiest way for me to kind of break this down is, is like your high school science class. Okay. You have, you know, your controlled variables, your manipulated variables, all those kind of things. And when, when you're looking at Facebook, you basically want to eventually have every single thing be like a controlled variable. Okay. If that, if that makes sense. So what that means is you need to test so many different things that eventually, like after you test a bunch of stuff, you can say, okay, this is my audience I'm going for. Boom. That's my controlled variable. Now I keep that the same for all my future ads. And then you move on to, okay, this is the caption I'm going for. I've narrowed it down. You know, this is the caption that my audience responds to the most that's controlled now. Now I move on to something else. Okay. So that's, that's the gist of it where you want to like slowly but surely experiment so, so many different like ways and different ads, different ad sets that eventually you know exactly what your audience is, right? And I think that's what people don't do is they just throw, you know, one, two or three ads up, let it run for a week and then realize, oh, this isn't working. You know, I suck at Facebook ads, right? And that, that's the thing, like you don't suck at Facebook ads, you just haven't tested enough, okay? And that, that's, that, I promise you guys, if you just keep testing, you'll slowly start generating results. So as you guys just can see, right? Our first one, we were averaging 24 cents per view content, okay? This was in the US. This was after I split tested the caption. So I did two different captions. Um, I think one was a 33 cent view content. Actually, let me, let's just go find out. Um, uh, yeah, so one was 32 cents. Okay. One was 25 and one was 21. So, I mean, they're all kind of pricey because it was again, the U S market, but I cut off the most expensive one from there. And eventually I cut that entire one off. I just turned it off um, because I did a worldwide test, right? So again, I started with my captions. Okay. I was split testing the caption, which one my audience just like responded to first after again, I mean, whatever you're split testing, you're going to keep everything else the same. So if I'm split testing my captions, I'm keeping the placement the same, the audience the same, the audience size the same, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Like the targeting, everything stays the same except the caption, right? That's what you're changing. So you can eventually find it and make that one a controlled variable. Okay. Assuming all those other ones are already controlled. Okay. If this guys like, if this goes over your head guys, I apologize, but like, I'm just trying to basically like literally trying to show you guys, um, how like my thought process is for, for these ads. Okay. So after I narrowed down the caption, I decided, to go, okay, um, I have a US market, I'm gonna test worldwide and see what kind of reaction I get there. And that's where we immediately saw a very, very good, um, you know, you know, engagement with it, with our audience, with whatever we're selling, right? So as you see for this one, we got four cents per view content, right? I mean, this one's actually reporting uh, three cents, but three, three to four cents compared to 24 cents for the US, all right? So as you can see, Facebook realized that, so they started showing this ad a lot more frequently than this one, which we eventually cut off because this one was killing it, or like, you know, compared to that one, it was outdoing it by far. Um, so that's the one that I've stuck on or just kept pushing for a while, right? As you can see, we started that the very next day, um, and then we're pushing that one. And then as you can see, I made in a, a lookalike audience for that worldwide one, which isn't doing so hot. So I'm actually going to be turning on that one off tonight and testing some other stuff. Um, and then this one guys for a worldwide test for purchase. So this is what I don't recommend. I just purely wanted to know what Facebook um, was giving me back in terms of a pure cold audience, which is $12 and 55 cents per purchase. Now, if you recall, we're selling our products for $20. $12.55, we're actually still in the green with our with our margins, right? With what we're selling. But obviously that's a that's a very, very high um, conversion rate for, for our product range, which can go down a lot more. But the reason why it's so high is because this is cold traffic and it's still learning, okay? There hasn't been enough conversion yet for Facebook to actually um, accurately give you, you know, you, the client, a number as to what basically you have to pay to get that sort of return. So the reason I did that, right, I just wanted to figure out what Facebook was saying from a pure cold audience standpoint, how much it costs to get that purchase, okay? Now, when you're building out these funnels, right, the reason I do view content um, objectives, right, I'm doing that to see who's interested, okay? Now, what you guys will see, I mean, I'll, I'll document this too, so I'll make future videos along the way just documenting this kind of story and the ads for it, but um, with this stuff, I'm doing view content ads, right? Driving traffic to my store. As you can see, we're driving a lot of traffic um, to, to the store. I mean, this three video is five visitors and I like, literally just went up more. Um, uh, but we're driving a lot of traffic, a lot of click throughs. As you can see, there's 2,530 um, just, just, you know, in these last five days um, with very, very little ad spend. I, I think the budget we're using is like 10 or $20. Yeah, so $10, $20 a day um, with, with an ad spend for, for each of these ad sets is, driving that chapter. Obviously, you know, everything can be better. It's just a matter of experimenting more, but I do view content ads, right? And then from there, guys, I'll make a lookalike audience for, you know, the people that added to cart, the people that actually entered the payment info and the people that actually purchased, that's where you're actually going to create those audiences and then try and get those ones to purchase. Okay. You don't want to do a pure cold audience and then try and get those to purchase, 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 right? You kind of want to like, like heat up your audience, right? So you're doing the view content ads 
to take that cold traffic that's all over the place, narrow it down right to this group of people that are interested, and then from there you're gonna send ads to those people, trying to get them to convert, to add the cart, to do all that kind of stuff. So like, I wasn't really even expecting to make sales with these ads, okay? I was just trying to drive traffic, drive a bunch of traffic that way, just to see, hey, who's interested? What are we doing with it? Blah, 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 so I can split test and eventually run conversion ads, right? And like, none of these are conversion ads. You see these, like this one for the actual conversion ad, I started just the other day, okay? So this thing, I just want, I want to get a number, and then that's basically how we generated our first sale. So obviously, you know, the website's done, it's live, um, we have you know a few apps on there again our, our conversion rate on the website is terrible my buddy was whipping that up and we just threw it up there um <laughs> that's that's the guy who's to show guys like what i always preach is like your website doesn't need to be the best if your marketing is good or decent at least right now if it's the flip side where you have an amazing website but your marketing's ass you're not going to convert okay so that's just basically like literally how i made a sale in less than 30 or in 30 minutes after launching our first ad pure cold traffic no influencers, no nothing, guys. Um, and I want you guys to be able to do the same, right? So again, just to break this down and recap real quick, because I don't want this to be like a super long video, but you start, or I start with view content ads, okay? Drive a bunch of traffic, heat up the cold audience to actually see who's engaged. And from there, after you get a lot of, you know, uh, conversions, right, for that view content, you're gonna start creating audiences around, you know, the people that view the content to get them to add to cart, to get them to purchase. And then eventually down the line, the people that purchase and add to cart, once you have enough of those conversions, you can make lookalike audiences and target those people for conversions, right? So again, guys, you always, excuse me, I just burped, you always need to be testing and testing and testing your ads, like even right now, I don't have enough testing going on, okay? I'm just literally helping my buddy out with a store. We made this for fun. I was like, yo, I'll, I'll do your ads and I'll see what I can do with it from pure cold traffic. Um, and so that's that's the video, guys. So that's literally how kind of I got a sale in less than an hour. I hope this was able to kind of like give you guys an idea of you know how I kind of go, like think about doing ads and process ads and whatnot. But that's that's the video, guys. I hope you guys really enjoy. Um, again, uh, or just you know like a little like FYI. For the course, guys, because we hit 20,000 subscribers and I haven't uploaded a video since then, as a little thank you, the first 20 people to actually click the link in the description get the course for free. Absolutely free, okay? So the first 20 people for hitting 20,000 subscribers, like that milestone, 20 people are gonna get it absolutely free. And then everyone else, uh, I'm just gonna put some fat discount on, um, just if you guys are interested or have been waiting for it. Link is down below. And I'm also breaking down each of these ads a lot more in depth. Like I actually will walk you guys through the actual store and everything um, in the actual course just to give more value to the people that do actually want to pursue dropshipping a lot more and actually just dive right into it, right? So those videos are actually being uploaded tonight as we speak. So that is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. Don't forget to comment. I respond to everybody's comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, take care, and peace. Don't forget to ask questions, guys. See ya. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. It's all night. I can do this all day. I can do this all night. Don't, don't, all night. Do all night. don't give me too easy. I like a little challenge. When it feels better when you take